Hi, good afternoon, Mayfield. It is Thursday, December 12th. This is our last pre-algebra homework of the year. 2019, remember. When I see you after winter break, it's a new year, and we will have homework, but still, we're gonna have a little bit of a break for homework after this one, and I hope that you enjoy it. Uh, I did go to the shoebox, and we had a few suggestions. One said, it's snowing in Syracuse, which I believe is the problem on the back. Um, this is an excellent problem because it really brings in everything we've been talking so far with um, constant and proportionality and then how to use that to write an equation and then how to use your equation to find a further answer. Snow is falling steadily, so that means at a constant rate, in Syracuse, New York. After two hours, four inches of snow has fallen, so that information is given in the table. If it continues to snow at this rate, how many inches of snow would you expect after six and a half hours? And so the answers here are set up in this chart to help you make sense of the problem. Constant of proportionality shouldn't be too hard to find. Two times two is four, which means in one hour, we're gonna have two inches of snow. And then working backwards, we're gonna divide one by two to get one half. Let's see if that still makes sense. Does one half times two equal one? Yes, it does. So six and a half times that constant of proportionality. So six and a half times two will give us 13 inches of snow. Write the equation that gives the amount of snow that's fallen after X hours at this rate. So the expression is your constant of proportionality times your variable. That's not your equation. Your equation has to have an equal sign. So what are we trying to find? We're trying to find our snowfall. So maybe that's my other variable. So I might put S equals snow and S equals two times X. And then I can use this equation to answer our last question. How many inches of snow will fall in 24 hours if it continues to snow at this rate. So the mistake that students sometimes are confused by is where do we put the 24? So we're trying to find inches of snow. I'm trying to find S, which means the 24 I'm gonna substitute in for X, which is my time. So S equals two X, which means my snow is two times 24 which means if it snowed at that rate for 24 hours, we would have 48 inches of snow, or four feet. All right, I hope that helps. Reminder, we're also gonna look at the front. We're gonna continue with proportionality next week into the new year. Our next quiz um, should be around January 10th. Thank you for all your hard work, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.